my dear friends i am myself dr rajesh gupta i am a cardiologist and also your mentor for your neat pg pg chandigarh and as well as aims exams and i teach general medicine and i welcome you all to the daily dose so today's question is i have a 55 year old man he has just arrived in the accident and emergency complaining of 20 minutes of central crushing chest pain which features is most indicative of myocardial infarction at this moment in time the options are inverted t waves st depression st elevation presence of q waves and raised troponin now so mainly the options given are the ecg changes and as well as the troponin see if you take this particular troponin it is a cardiac biomarker which will be elevated in myocardial infarction and the other important cardio cardiac biomarkers are the ckmd and remember this cardiac biomarkers they get elevated in the blood after 2 to 4 hours of myocardial infarction but the question given here is the individual has arrived into the accident and emergency department within 20 minutes of the onset of pain right within 20 minutes of onset of central crushing chest pain so you are raised troponin now this is ruled out okay because that will get elevated in the blood within 20 to 40 minutes sorry 2 to 4 hours now you take the ecg changes let me tell you what will be the earliest ecg change remember in myocardial infarction the earliest ecg change most of you think that it is an st elevation but remember st elevation is not the earliest change it is the tall t wave that is the one which will develop within minutes of the development of myocardial infarction and what is the next change within minutes to hours the next important change what you will have is the st segment elevation and followed by this particular st segment elevation next within hours to days you will have the development of the q wave and the absence of your r wave there will be loss of your r wave now once there is development of your q wave that we call it as evolved mi and as the days progresses there will be presence of the q wave and the t wave it will be inverted right and the t wave can be inverted even within hours also and later even after days weeks and months what will be the ecg change that will persist that is your q right that is your q wave so presence of the pathological q wave tells that the individual had an old mi so these are the ecg changes what you will have in patients with the mi now if you see our question the patient has presented within 20 minutes so among the options given you don't have the tall t wave then what will be the next best option the next best option will be the st segment elevation right so this is a very important question in your pg entrance exams regarding the ecg in myocardial infarction so i hope you might have understood this question properly so thank you very much and do follow us for the daily dose